Welcome to another episode of Table Talk. In this episode, we're doing how to play Lucky Numbers. All right, Lucky Numbers is for one to four players, ages eight and up in about 20 minutes. So the first thing you're going to do to set up the game is give each player a player board, making sure the ladybug is in their lower right hand corner. Then you're going to take, based on player count, a bag of clovers. In this case, we're taking two bags, so two colors, because we're blueing two players. All right, you're gonna flip them down. Once you do this, you're going to flip them all face down. It, um, the numbers are from one to 20, each color, so there's two of each number. Yes, and then you're going to mix them up. Once you've done this, each player will take four random clovers. Okay. And then set them up on the board in these golden laced uh, clovers. Preferably in a order where the lowest number is in the top left and the highest is in the bottom right. Because this matters for gameplay, which we'll move on to. In Youngest this players goes first. So according to the rules. I'll pick one. So in this game, what you're going to do is you're going to either take a face up or face down clover. At the start, they are going to be face down. And then you have two options. You can either return it to the pile face up, which would then allow me to grab it, or you can put it on your board. When you put it on your board, you can exchange it with something already on your board, placing the one that it has been replaced back into the pile or you can just put it on your board as Bernadette has done here. And we're going to be going back and forth like this until either someone fills up their board or the last clover has been flipped and that person will finish out their turn and the game will end. You cannot repeat numbers. As you can see, I just grabbed the three. I can't put it here, so I'll put it back in the center. Yes, because when you add a clover to your board, it has to be a legal placement. What qualifies as legal? It has to be in ascending order from left to right on every row and also top. from top to bottom. So in every column. In every column, All yes. Right. So I might want to actually replace this three. And the goal of the game is to uh, fill your, your whole board. board. And the first person to do so is the winner. If perhaps the game ends by flipping over the last clover, uh, in which case the score of the game will be, or the winner will be determined based on who has covered their board most, uh, in which case they will be the winner. Uh, some variants in the back of the rule book include during setup, instead of taking four at random, we will draft one at a time, placing them where we think they should go, not being able to move it until setup has been complete, in which case they will be able to be exchanged during the game. The other variant is tournament play, where you play multiple games and the winner will get two points and everyone else will basically get a negative one point for each space uncovered. Uh, you play a couple games and then add up the total scores with the highest scoring win or the lowest negative if everyone is in the negatives. Um, and then the last variant was solo play where there's a couple of different um, puzzles. puzzles in the rule book. So for, here's your example puzzles. Here's your example puzzles. Basically, it will give you a set uh, for, for a set of numbers. And then you get a number, which is the maximum number of movements to make it legal. So as this example, it has three movements. And the first one would be to exchange these numbers. The second one would be here. And the third one would be here. Then you would have the ascending legal placement as you would in normal game. Well, that is how you play Lucky Numbers, all three variants. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment down below. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye bye bye for now. now.
that was a lot better.